Hey everyone, I'm going to show you a quick um, method that you can use in your <coughs> applied exams if you're ever asked to work with um, random numbers. So mostly this was based on your stats content. So this is a copy of your formula book that you are given during each exam. It's also accessible on the Google Doc that we've shared with you with resources. And this is a common booklet which is given to all A-level math students. So you can see, if I go to the contents page, this covers AS maths, A-level maths, further maths, and then it has a whole bunch of statistics tables here. This video is going to focus on random numbers, which as you can see is on page 38, and how we can use those random numbers. <clears throat> so I'm going to go to page 38 and we'll have a look uh, how we can, what it looks like and how we can use it. Okay, so this is page 38. It says random numbers. You can obviously see a table of random numbers. The fact that they are separated every two digits is purely just so it's easy to read it with your eyes and not lose where you are. It doesn't mean this is 86 and 13 and 84 unless you're looking at two digit numbers. So an example of a question might be, use the random number tables in the formula book, starting with the second row, which is here with the six, and list the first three three digit numbers between 100 and 500. So that, so you want three numbers. Each of them are three digits and between 100 and 500. And like I said, I've just set the criteria to start from the second row. You might be asked to start from somewhere else. So in this case, again, we're ignoring the gaps in between the numbers. The first three digit number is 607. That's bigger than 500, so I don't need that. I then get 848, which is too big. I get 129, which works. So 129 is my first number. Then I get 947, which is too big. 094 is just 94, so you don't really need to write the zero, but the zero digit counts. And then I get 691, which is too big, and then I get 331, which is within my range. So these are the three numbers. They are each three digits, and they're between 100 and 500, and they've randomly been generated using this table here. So um, that's how you use the random number table. It's fairly straightforward, but you just need to know how to, um, what it looks like and, and where to find it, and depending on the criteria, how to use it. Okay, I hope that was useful. Smash that like button, hit subscribe, check out my Patreon. I'll see you next time.